Yo, what's going on, y'all? Um, I want to see if I can go ahead and get a few video responses from this from whoever. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you want to do it, it's cool. Uh, basically, I want to get your idea. Well, what you think of why you should have a collection and why a collection is important to you. Um, okay, first of all, uh, my PS3 uh, collection, well, not even really PS3 gaming collection, um, over the time has diminished, okay? Uh, you know, I've, throughout the years, I've owned every single console, I've owned pretty much every single handheld, and I've owned a vast variety of, of games. But, you know, when I was younger, I wasn't really too worried about holding on to certain games after a certain period of time after the next generation came out. You know, like the PlayStation would come out, I would still have my Super Nintendo and my games. But after a certain amount of time, I was like, you know what, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these games. And that's what I did. I kept certain games, though. Certain games I kept. But, um, but anyways, you know, now I'm at a point you know with with these consoles where I'm like you know what I'm not getting rid of my games no more you know I'm not I'm not doing that you know and part of the reason is because I'm paying for them you know or I'm earning them by doing things that I'm doing that I have to do so why am I gonna trade them in you know period why am I gonna do that and I mean that, that, that's that's one reason uh, next reason is because like having a collection of games or having a collection of anything it can be baseball cards it can be figurines I mean it can whatever it may be you can have a collection of I don't know fucking clocks or something I don't know what the fuck people collect nowadays they collect all types of bullshit but that feeling that you have when you know you have a lot of something that you enjoy and you like is you know it's I don't know there's, there's a certain word for it but you know uh, you get a certain feeling from it you know just like you know, the perfect example is like people that that collect baseball cards and sometimes you know they'll they'll go through their cards you know and then they'll, they'll just flip through the pages just going checking through all their cards and stuff it's that it's that type of thing but with games, since it's an interactive experience, you know, you you have this chance to go back. Just like that person that checks his baseball cards, you have a chance to go back and play these games. And not just that, you get a chance to show people that, hey, this is what the fuck I have. You know, this is what I have right here. At any time, I can go back and play these, or I can play these games with other people. Because not everybody is going to have the same exact games you have at the time you have them. Uh, perfect example is Demon Souls. I got Demon Souls when it first came out. Okay, I played it a handful of times. Uh, and but but right now, right now is when I'm really starting to get into Demon Souls and really appreciating the game. Period. I mean, like I, I got Huntmaster Flex, like making a new character. Uh, Q-Ball uh, went out and got Demon Souls again. Um, I got King of Sand back, back in the Demon Souls. Uh, just just off of us be playing and then be like, hey, you got Demon Souls, you got Demon Souls. You know, people asking me, like, hey, what level are you on Demon Souls? You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, boom, we're all fucking playing together. And then my two my two boys that came from Xbox and now they have a PS3, they're playing Demon Souls like fucking crackheads. Like, you know? And and with some people's mindset, if I had their mindset and traded in Demon Souls because I wasn't playing it even though I thought it was good, I wouldn't be having fun playing Demon Souls right now if I had their mindset. Why? Because I, you know, I, I just have a different mindset with my games. I want to, I want to keep them. You know, I pay that much. Hey, I'm gonna fucking keep my game because it has more longevity. You know, even if it's a game like God of War and I beat it, you know, in a few days or a few weeks, whatever it may be, down the line I might want to experience that again. You know, I might want to go through that again. I mean, God of War has some of the most ridiculous 
epic scenes in it out of any video game, period. I'm already playing through the game all over again. Because it's fucking amazing. Same thing with Heavy Rain. Amazing game. And look, it's gonna have PlayStation Move support. I mean, come on, man. I can't fucking wait for that. Why not hold on to games for longer than just, oh, I beat it, let me get rid of it. Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, why are you gonna trade in your games? I understand that I just bought games that were used, but I understand that it doesn't matter what I say, people are still gonna do what they do. But at least I can share my opinion with y'all and see if y'all can understand what I'm trying to say of having a collection. Um, and just with me buying those uh, three games today, I took my uh, collection from 26 games to 29. And then tomorrow I'm getting Dark Siders for 20 bucks. And that's going to raise it up to 30 games. So basically, I pay $50 to take my collection from 26 to 30 beast and didn't even pay the full amount of one game for four games beast that, that that's that's crazy that's fucking like I, i'm thinking about it. that's that's fucking crazy man but like i said just be a smart use game soon and um collect y'all collect man don't get rid of your games you pay too much for them first of all it's good to have them for the long run because sometimes people don't have the game and you have it or sometimes people have it but they're not particularly playing that game at that time and they'll play it some other time hold on to your games hold on to them like another perfect example is SOCOM I had SOCOM when uh, not when it first came out but I got it uh, after all the patches came and they kinda cleaned it up and me as a casual SOCOM player you know, I enjoy it. So comes actually a fun game for me. And it works. You get in the game, boom, it works, and it's fucking fun. All of a sudden, you know, I got people occasionally playing SOCOM with me. And it's just good to have more options of shit to play. You ever been in that situation where you ask somebody to play something, they're like, nah, I don't want to play that right now. Like, oh, you want to play this? Nah, I don't want to play that right now. Oh, you want to play this? Like, you know, yeah, I'll go ahead and play that. That's why it's good to have a collection. So you're not cycling through your three or four fucking games on about, yeah, that's all I have. Like, what the fuck? Like, don't trade in your shit, you know, but at, at the same time, you know, I understand people are kind of hard pressed on money, or they don't really have money, so, so they only see it so that, yeah, I gotta trade in my game in order to get this game. You know, I can kind of understand that, but I still try to encourage to save your money or earn your money somehow to get another game so that you add games except for taking away two or three just to get one yeah like i said you don't want to be asked out because you can't play something no more man i don't you know I, I just think it's a good thing to collect other than subtract games that you do like just to earn one game that you're looking forward to you know you should want to have more options in your gaming no matter if you beat it two months ago or you just haven't beat it yet you know because trust me man i i get to those times especially when you're like everyone's like oh that gaming drought but wouldn't you rather have a lot of games that you could possibly go back to you know possibly except for just having two or three games and you're like, oh, I don't want to play that, I don't want to play that, I guess I'll play this. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Yo, what's up, y'all? One thing real quick, um, seems like GameStop is having this huge power saver sale. Um, it's kind of, I guess, is why, you know, I, I was talking about the Dark Siders being 20 bucks. But I'm on their website, I'm going to throw out some names real quick, like God of War 3, is $29.99. I think this is a typo right here or something because they say pure is zero dollars. Um, just certain things that stick out. Bayonetta is thirty dollars. Dark Siders, like I said, twenty dollars. Um, 
Bioshock 2 is $29.99. Uh, Dark Void is only $9.99. Assassin's Creed 2 is only $19.99. Demon Souls $29.99. Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition is $39.99. Final Fantasy 13 is $39.99. Uh, let's see. Unreal Tournament 3 is $4.49. Holy shit. Um, oh my god. Heavenly Sword is $14.99. I'm copping it. I have to. Um, I still need that in my collection. SoCon Confrontation is $6.49. And the original Fallout is $8.99. And Resistance 2 is $13.49. Uh, yeah, check it out.